Hey everybody, how's it going? It's The Daily Shooter, and today I want to talk about astigmatism and modern optics. Which ones are going to be best for your astigmatism, and how to tell if it's a bad reticle or if it's just your eyes. Okay, so let's go ahead and start off by talking about a simple way to check whether or not you have a bad reticle or it's just your eyes. Because there's a lot of people out there who probably don't even know that they have an astigmatism. They get themselves a red dot or a reflex sight, they put it in front of their face, and the little dot's supposed to be a nice little circle, and it's got some flaring coming off. It just doesn't look right to them. So they call the manufacturer, they say, hey, I got a bad unit. I'm sure the manufacturer is going to mention astigmatism, but they're just going to say, no, I don't have astigmatism, and they're going to want to send it in and send it back. It's a, it's a big hassle that can be avoided really quickly so what you want to do is if you pick up an optic and it looks like the reticle is is not right it's not clear maybe it has some squiggly lines off it or it's flaring in some way and something just doesn't look right there is a quick way to check and so what you want to do is you want to put something in between your eyes and the reticle and that can easily be done with a camera I think most of us these days have you know cameras on our cell phones right so a quick way to check would be to simply take your camera put it in between your eye and the reticle and then try and get an image of that reticle with your camera. If the image of the reticle in the camera actually looks clear, okay, and you take it away and it looks blurry with the naked eye, but you can see a clear image with your camera, then it's your eyes. Because the camera is going to be picking up that reticle perfectly, you're going to be able to see that LED screen perfectly because your eye is going to be able to read that image a lot better than it is uh, the reflection of a red dot. Uh, so if you can see a perfect reticle through your camera, then it's probably going to be your eyes and you probably want to go to the eye doctor and just ask him if you have an astigmatism. Uh, I wear contacts, contacts that uh, are specifically designed to kind of help with astigmatism. Uh, mine's a pretty bad, so it, it doesn't correct it 100%, but it corrects it enough where I can still see reticles pretty good these days. But still, getting a camera in between your eye and that reticle is the fastest way to check whether or not it's the reticle or it's you. Okay, so now let's say that you've, you've tried that, okay? You had a reticle you thought was a problem. It turns out that you have an astigmatism and you're looking for something that's going to work better for you because obviously you're not going to be shooting with a cell phone camera in between you and your optic all the time. So you want to find something that's going to work best for those people that have astigmatisms. Now, there's several different illuminated options that you could choose from these days, from holographic sites, red dots, prism scopes, magnified optics, fixed magnified optics, stuff like that. Which one is going to be best for somebody with an astigmatism? Well, there's this big rumor going around that if you get something like a prism sight, this is a Swamp Fox Optics prism optic that I'm going to be reviewing here soon. If you get something that's a prism, it's going to have a uh, better reflection to it and it's going to have a much more clear reticle and a clearer image. Well, for me, and I'm not basing this off of any scientific evidence. I'm basing this off of my own personal experience, but for me, prisms don't seem to appear any better than a typical red dot for my astigmatism. What appears better out of a prism sight is that prism sights usually have some type of etched reticle on them. So let's go ahead and take this thing out and we'll talk a little bit more about etched reticles, uh, illuminated etched reticles in a magnified optic, or even etched reticle that's in a non-magnified optic, so a 1X. So here's a look at our prism sight. Again, this is a Swamp Fox Optics. Really nice, I'm actually looking forward to uh, reviewing this. So this has a large piece of glass in it, okay? And that prism uh, reflects that information back to your eye a little bit differently than just a simple reflection off of the glass, okay? And that's why people say that they get a better image. And that might be true for some people, but again, we're basing this off me, and it's not really true for me. What gives me the best image in a prism sight uh, is that you have an etched reticle, and that reticle is illuminated and so when you get the illumination it's just going to be bouncing directly off of that black reticle so the reticle is going to be black and then you'll get the illumination which is projected onto that black reticle and then my eye perceives that light so for me whenever there's an etched reticle and any type of light is uh, or image is you know imposed onto that reticle uh, I can typically see it better uh, that goes the same for red dots it goes the same for uh, prism optics it goes the same for LPVOs and magnified optics anytime that I have something uh, that has that reticle with the uh, projection on it uh, I get a better image okay so if you're somebody who has really bad astigmatism find something like this okay a prism site that has an etched reticle that's illuminated and you're gonna get yourself a nice clean crisp clear image. Uh, that's just basically how it's going to work. So again, uh, that's one of the things that you can do to find something that works out better for you. Now, there are also other things that you can look at. Uh, for instance, I have this freaking monster 
of a scope right here. This is a fixed powered Trigicon. This is the Trigicon uh, 6X. So it's a fixed six powered optic, right? Now this also has an illuminated reticle. It uh, uses tritium and it uses fiber optics in order to collect that light. And then it also projects that light onto an etched reticle or a, a standard reticle. So again, I'm getting not just not just the prism, but a magnified optic like this that has a reticle in it. This one, this particular one, has a uh, chevron with some ballistic drop calculating uh, hash marks below it. But it's getting that light projected on that, and then that's being brought back to my eye. So through this, I can see things absolutely perfectly. I already put the batteries in this prism from Swamp Fox, and again in this one, I can see the reticle perfectly. And this one actually has. Uh, kind of a complex reticle in it. It's got a horseshoe reticle or a circle reticle, hash marks, drop points, I mean, you name it. And I can see all of those without any distortion whatsoever. There's no flaring, nothing coming off it. It, it looks like one of the cleanest reticles that I have seen. Same goes for this one because it has that black reticle. It is one of the clearest reticles that I have seen. Uh, so that kind of goes for other Trigicons as well. I'm just using this one as an example because this is another one that I'm working on for review. Now, optics that I typically have issues with are going to be your standard red dots. So red dots work by using an LED that projects a light onto the front window that is then reflected back to your eye. It's a very simple setup, a very simple unit. Uh, and here we have, uh, this is a six hour Romeo 8H. Uh, this one's incredible, it has 100,000 hours of battery life. 100,000 hours of battery life, which is fantastic. I mean, it's a nice little site, I can tell you that right now. But uh, again, this uses pretty much the same technology. While this does look like a holographic site, it's not, this is a red dot. So for me, it's red dots that are the hardest reticles to get perfect. Uh, if you have a reticle and a red dot that has a little bit of a flare to it, I wouldn't really worry all that much. I wouldn't panic and send it back or try and get something else. It's not really gonna affect what you're aiming at. Still, even if you have a little bit of flare on it, as long as that red dot is pointed at your target, the chances of you hitting it are gonna be good. Uh, that flare is not really going to affect you that much. Maybe it doesn't have a perfect circular edge to it. You know, it's a little bit jagged, but still you're looking at a red dot and that one little aiming point right there is going to get you on target. So it's nothing to panic about. It's nothing to send back unless the reticle is so flared out or maybe has some squiggly lines that could be distracting or kind of take you off target, something like that. Then maybe I would consider getting something else. But if you have an astigmatism, you have a red dot with a little bit of flare, don't sweat it too much. As long as you put that in the middle of your target, you're going to be good. Red dots aren't really made for ultra precise shooting anyway. You have a two MOA red dot. It's going to cover up two inches of your target, approximately at 100 yards. So they're not like these little fine precise crosshairs. Uh, I don't think you're going to have a problem with that. Uh, again, I wouldn't necessarily send it back unless it's like really bad. Then maybe I would get something else. But still, for me, it's red dots that have the most uh, of flare. Now, Interestingly enough, when it comes to red dots, most red dots have multiple reticles these days. Uh, a lot of times you'll find something with a circle dot and then they'll switch over to just a dot and then maybe a dot with some uh, bullet job compensation on it. Something like that, right? Now, not all red dots are just simply a dot anymore these days. This one right here has three different reticles as well. Hollow suns, uh, pretty much all the hollow suns that I use have three different reticles. And what I can tell you is, uh, at least for my eyes, whenever I switch from the single dot, so it's, let's say a single one or two MOA dot, to the circle and the dot, I actually can see the circle and the dot better than I can just a dot. For some reason, when I switch it over to the circle dot, that's when my vision is the best. That's when I get actually the little dot even changes and the dot even seems clearer to me than it does when I have it as just a dot. For some reason, that little red reticle around it changes something and I can see it a little bit better. So maybe look if you you know really see a red dot that you like or you know something like that. You want a red dot because red dots tend to be really light. They tend to be small. They're very easy to use. Battery life is incredible on red dots these days. So if you really want a red dot but you're worried about it, try and find one that has different reticle options that you can scroll through and maybe you can find one that works a little bit better for you. Holographic sites like EOTech, uh, those actually don't use an LED. They use a laser. And for me, the laser is, it's clear, but I've never been able to get one perfectly clear. So it's not like using a laser or an LED is really going to affect it all that much. Uh, when I use laser optics, you know, something that's a holographic site, it's, it's always just a little bit fuzzy to me and there's nothing you can do about that. Even when you end up with a circle dot reticle like an EOTech, uh, even then it's still a little bit fuzzy to me. It's only the circle dot and a red dot that I can find the best performance out of if I'm looking for a site like this. 
Now, I should mention that these were sent to the channel. Uh, these two were sent to the channel, this one and this one by Optics Planet. So I do have a discount code for these. If you guys are interested, you want to take a look at these, head over to my website, thedailyshooter.com. I'll also link that down below in the description box. So if you guys want to find yourself a good optic, save a little money, you can do that. This was sent to the channel by uh, Swamp Fox Optics to test out. I've got a couple other ones as well. We're going to test out in their new lineup, so I'm really excited for that. They look like quality optics. But uh, if you guys want to save some money on optics, you're looking at something, definitely check it out. Uh, another great way to be able to try optics ask friends what they have ask friends what they're using and uh, see if they'll just let you look through it uh, it's a good way to to tell whether or not you know they're gonna be good for you because a lot of times your your friends or other people that you know they're gonna have a lot of those common optics on top of their rifles and so it's gonna be easy for you to you know pick one up look at it and and see whether or not it's an option that's gonna work for you as well another thing to consider is if you're talking about pistol optics so like Trigicon RMR and stuff like that for me again the single dots a little bit more difficult to see but if you talk about like a what is it the Holosun HS 507 C that also mounts into a, a Trigicon platform for a pistol then uh, the the Holosun actually has a circle dot and that circle dot does work a little bit better for me as well. So again, that's a quick way to remember uh, how to check it, use a camera, doesn't matter if it's a, a video camera, handheld camera, cell phone camera, any type of camera that will let you live view what you're looking at, you'll be able to tell whether or not it's your eye or the reticle. And then again, the different options, uh, whether you have a low power variable optic, a fixed scope, a prism scope, holographic sight, or a red dot, hopefully this gives you a little bit more information so that you can go out there into the world of optics and know what to look for without getting screwed over in the end. Because uh, again, it's, it's uh, kind of difficult when you got an astigmatism. So I hope this helps some people out. I want to thank you all very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Please like, subscribe, and have a great day.